So the title of the album is called The High Priestess. And like I said, I'm really tapped into my spirituality. Um, and I play with tarot cards um, every now and then. Just for me, though, it's, I don't like read for other people. But like I was telling you earlier, I do Reiki, yoga, just all, you know, holistic practices. And so um, the high priestess is um, kind of like a... It's different things you could say about her. She's kind of like a female pope, uh, a magician. Um, she taps into her into her intuition, into her magic. Um, I think that um, if you write things down, um, you can actually manifest them. And so that's part of my whole process as a writer and MC. I actually write lyrics down in a notebook. I do not read them off my phone. No shade, but I don't do that. So I think it has more power when you actually write things down. So that's a, a tip. Also, um, if you want to bring something into fruition, I would say write it down. So the high priestess, um, basically, she's, um, you know, growing up, like my evolution, um, like my lower self to my higher self. You know, I'm like at the highest place I can be right now. I'll never stop working to be higher. But, you know, I just felt um, like I'm kind of like sitting on my throne right now, enjoying this beautiful journey that I've been able to uh, partake into. I've always been um, aware of these practices and modalities um, and nothing bad in particular happened or sad to make me go deeper. I'm just, um, you know, a life giver. I'm like a woman of life. And so I've always been on um, a upful path. So like I said, I was already studying like herbs and nutrition, yoga, things of this nature. And so it just strengthened um, over time, once I found a community here in Chicago um, to help me, you know, grow in those fields. So, um, yeah, I would just say community building um, helped me really uh, tap in more to the point where I want to be a, a yoga instructor or facilitator and whatnot. Um, so it's really important, I think, to be uh, grounded and know your past so you can know your future. So. I honor my ancestors and my ancestry, and I'm just glad to be be the messenger. For me, uh, to have the, the right mindset um, is very important because I know that I'm influencing someone. You know, whether it be one person, 50 people, 5,000 people, it doesn't matter. I'm influencing people with my art. And so I'm a woman of positivity, and so I, I want people to be inspired, educated, uplifted. And so for me, mental health is very important. Um, that's why I do all the things that I do to keep me grounded, because we know, you know, in this world, we can get distracted and thrown off very easily. And so, um, yeah, family is extremely important to me. I have a, a loving, you know, supportive family. My parents both support my career. You know, they have supported me since day one. I just got married, so my husband is very supportive of me. Um, Neek, you know, my musical peers are very supportive of me. So, um, yeah, it keeps me grounded along with uh, the holistic practices. So for me, uh, what influences me is definitely music. I'm like a super hip hop head. <laughs> like I love all genres of music, maybe except for country, but I definitely Hip hop is is at the top, so I I'm you know I'm a hip hop head. Also, um, I love fashion. I'm into fashion. Um, I like uh, clothes and hair, and you know I just want to represent my godliness and my my queen you know vibe. So I try to keep it at a high level. I try to represent myself in a respectful. Uh, manner that's very important to me because how I show up is how people will treat me and I want to be treated with respect and taken seriously so um, I think it's very important to um, you know look presentable um, and so I would say um, dance is another uh, side of me that people don't know. I grew up dancing um, at the age of three I started tap dancing and so i was tapping and jazzing for a good 15 years. Um, and then I 
kind of took a break from dancing for a while. And again, I just channeled my creativity into another realm. Like I started writing and doing music and I was even int introduced into like engineering music in college and things like that. So I'm, I'm at the core, I'm a, a performer. I'm a performance artist. So I would... I would love to like be on Broadway or something where I get to sing, dance, act, you know, just do it all in one. I just like to be um, social and um, I get um, a lot of inspiration and ideas just from, you know, people that's, that's come before me in the arts. Like, I don't really have a resume <laughs> for acting, but I definitely have been in some plays um, and I love theater. I would love to explore that more one day. Um, but yeah, I love um, plays and theater, I would say. So this button um, is from uh, my listening party that I had back in September. And so um, if you attended that listening party, you received a button. But I also do have um, CDs that can be ordered that will come with a button. So it'll be a different button. But um, yeah. So this button is um, a photo from the photo shoot uh, that I did for the High Priestess. So before the album was like finished, we did a whole photo shoot. And this is one of the images from that photo shoot um, that we chose for a button. I wish it was deep, but it's really not. It's just like a cool photo. I think like hundreds of out of hundreds of photos, we nar kind of narrowed it down just to get a cool button photo, if you will. Um, but to speak to like the hair and the crown and things of that nature, it just kind of goes with the high priestess vibes. And the orange, it just popped out to me. So peace and love, it's Rita J and you're checking out 24 seven HH.